Top five favorite death movies. The Loved One. <laughs> because it says so much about the Los Angeles rise of the death industry and it was the the home of the euphemism the loved one the slumber room the you know all the all the things that we use to deny death now really came from that era of los angeles death history and the loved one is just a great movie that reflects that another la death movie completely in the opposite direction is called a certain kind of death these were cremains found in a closet at a local mortuary we are responsible ultimately to try to find the next of kin. And it's a documentary about the unclaimed and indigent dead in Los Angeles County and what happens to them. And it's heartbreaking and dark, but also fascinating to watch the workers just try to do their job as best they can with this incredibly depressing job. Whether it's the guy who cremates the indigent dead, whether it's the people who try and find their family and try and find money to bury them or to cremate them. It's just a, just a beautifully done movie. I tend to watch more documentaries than, than fiction, but it's called Children of the Pyre, and it's about the children who work on the pyres along the Ganges River in India. And how their lives are affected by it, how they have to steal these cloths and, and bring them to the different pyres, and, and really what life is like in this death system, in this death economy in India. And it's another beautifully done, slightly heartbreaking movie, but it's a death movie list, so what do you expect? Number two, how to die in Oregon. I can't do any more. I think all of us would like to have some options of how we'd take control of our life at the end. It's about uh, assisted death laws in Oregon and people who choose to end their life when the suffering gets to be too much. Um, I was part of helping to pass that law in California as well, and I'm really proud of that because I think everyone should have the autonomy and ability to choose when their life ends, especially if they have a terminal disease. It's not suicide when you're on your way out and you're just making these choices for yourself, um, and it's a beautiful depiction of that. Tied for number one. <laughs> one is serving life. Hospice referred to as a process of helping one die with dignity. But more than that, I feel this is helping one live our life with love. Another documentary about men in prison who take care of hospice, other prisoners who are in hospice, and how their lives have been redeemed in some ways through working with death. And in the same vein, Departures, which I mentioned earlier, which is the Japanese film. Another story of a man who was really redeemed through working with death and dead bodies and how that changed him and his life. I just love a good corpse-changing-you tale when it comes down to it.